Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Today I have got a, a big surprise which I'm now going to open from a company called Mosaic Supplies Limited and they contacted me and said we would like to send you a parcel with some things in it that we think might be useful for polymer claying. It was after I did that video where I said about crossover products. So yeah, so this is very exciting. I've cut the... Um, I've cut the stickers and things that are holding this closed and um, yeah let's open it up shall we and see what there is inside I'm just going to have a sip of my tea I've still got a croaky throat what on earth okay so let me open the box hmm bit of a secret note hi Val can't see the rest and also packaging which I'm going to take out so it's not in the way. Nicely wrapped. Ooh, goodies, huh? Okay, let's have a look and we'll start here. And these are dark gold micro tiles. Oh, okay, and these are black micro tiles. So you can buy micro tiles. This is what mosaic tile people use to make their little tiny mosaic things. Could we use these with polymer clay? Oh, they're nice. They've got kind of a gold sheen to them. I like those. Yes, I think we could. We could embed those in clay, couldn't we? Make little surrounds to doors and things or paths. I think we'd definitely use those. And they're nice and small, so we can use them in jewellery and things like that. Hmm. Definite good vibe with the dark gold micro tiles. And if you've got any ideas about any of these things, do uh, say it in comments because... I'm up for suggestions. Put those to one side and these are the black ones. I'm going to get everything out because you can't see it in the bags. These are the black micro tiles. I'm a huge fan of black. I think if you put black in things it sort of makes everything else pop. I like that. It was so kind of them to send me this stuff for nothing. Oh. These are, what are they? Silver rain tiles. That sounds interesting. Let's have a look at these. I like those. Look at those. You can make sort of windows for a fairy door or a fairy house, couldn't you? Or if you're making a building on the front of a journal cover or or they'd be good for um, jewellery or something. Oh, lots of inspiration with those. They're kind of mirror. They look like mirrors, but they don't. Well, they do reflect a little bit, actually. Yeah, look. I like those. <laughs> Fairy shower. <laughs> those are silver rain tiles. Let's see what else we've got. Aha! Mixed Mill Fury and they're proper Murano glass Mill Fury. We make these, don't we, into... Uh, this is how we make canes and things. They're made in the same way. But these are actually made of glass. And they could... Be incorporated into things but we'll just look at them anyway because they're so pretty and look how tiny these are oh my goodness do you know in all the time I've done polymer cling I've never made a pair of earrings <laughs> what's that about maybe I should make some earrings with these or something probably the or something mainly oops oh dear Every video I drop something, I'm going to make a, if I, well, if I knew how to, I'd make a compilation of dropping things, outtakes. That's a really pretty delicate pink one. They're quite chunky, these, and you almost feel as if you could embed them in something and sort of have, oh, sorry, embed them in something and have both sides showing, if you, if you know what I mean. You could have something that was that thick and then turn it around either side to show the flowers. Sorry, thinking aloud. Okay, I'm going to put these back in the bag. Let's put those in there. <laughs> All the tiny bits are sticking to my fingers. My clammy little excited hands. I know these were going to be. I knew these were going to be in here. These aren't actually for sale on Mosaic Supplies website because when they looked at them, they decided they were too shallow for mosaic work. So these are just a little gift to me. But, as I said, if you go on their website, they do have lots of findings that you can look at. 
and they are uh, well, they do also sell kind of tools which uh, will go nicely with polymer clay and they're going to send me some of those later but you know what doesn't matter for the minute when I get them I'll use them in a, while I'm doing a project or something and I'll just tell you that that's where I got them from if that makes any sense at all now glitter tiles oh my goodness I saw these on the website I must be honest I've already had a little squiz at them on the website and I think they are gorgeous <laughs> and there's so many too look oh my goodness look at these aren't they beautiful blue I'll just pop them in the box because I take ages putting them back in the bag turquoise I love these and green lovely lime kind of green I'm doing a secret project which we've got coming up in May and that's got so, quite a lot of this sort of jungly green in it that is amazing they are beautiful I just even make this cardboard box look exciting <laughs> Okay, so these are the things uh, from Mosaic Supplies Limited. Love those. And thank you, um, my friend there, for sending them to me. Now, before I go, I've got something else to show you, which also arrived in the mail today, but I paid for this. And that is these, and they are from Amazon. Um, now, I have a confession to make. A lovely lady, a Paula McClare called Suzanne Barr, was complaining that she has trouble getting things sent to her in Switzerland, you know, from Amazon and stuff. Apparently they're not big on Switzerland. <laughs> they're not big on sending stuff. And she said, I couldn't even get um, some bath bomb moulds. And I thought, I didn't know she made bath bombs. And it turns out she doesn't. Look, she wanted them because she's a Paula McClare. And look, bath bomb moulds are metal, another crossover product, just the same as... With the mosaic supplies, you know, tell me if you're a Paula McClare that you couldn't think of something to use that for. So Suzanne Barr was bemoaning the fact that she couldn't get these sent to her in Switzerland. And my reaction was, well, I'm all right, Jack, as I live in England. <laughs> so uh, as soon as I read her comment, I looked on Amazon UK and ordered them and they arrived this morning. That was yesterday oh what a bad person I am so Suzanne I'm gonna buy some of these and send them to you in Switzerland I'm gonna ask you for your address because you know what you're a lovely person you deserve it anyway yeah so this is an idea uh, which Suzanne was saying I don't know where it came from that you could use bath bomb molds for polymer claying maybe Suzanne thought it up herself I don't know definitely suggest you get some of those maybe combine the bath bomb experience the bath bomb mold experience sorry that was so loud maybe combine the bath bomb mold experience with some of your tiles who knows oh the possibilities i hope this has inspired you i want to thank the people who sent me these i want to thank suzanne bar for giving me the idea to get those enjoy yourselves have a play have a have a, a great time and um like subscribe if you want to leave your comments down below what would you do with some of these things and um, check out mosaic spies limited they'll be in the description i love you all thank you for watching Bye bye